To celebrate 50 years of Maccas, we're introducing the Mac family. And with every medium or large Mac Junior, Big Mac or Grand Big Mac meal, you'll get one of six free Maccas glasses, but only for a limited time. Available after 10.30am while stocks last. Can I just get something off my mind? Okay. And, and this is going to sound like a bit of a bleat, but hopefully the first half of what I'm about to say takes away the bleat factor. Mm. Zach Williams thoroughly deserved, at the very least, a week for what he did to okay, Ben Coos, right? To say about that as well, yeah. Absolutely deserved, at least, a week. It was a crook thing that he did. Yeah. And the more you look at it, the Didn't crooker like. it gets, yeah, it's right? hard to watch. Not good. Not good, right? So... That is that. Zach Williams deserves at least a week. Did the AFL, did the MRO not look at the Geelong Brisbane game? Did they not look at <laughs> did they not look at Tom Stewart and what he did to Charlie Cameron? Splitting hairs. Much it was, of a muchness. It was it was basically the same action. Zach's is worse. Marginally. Yeah. It, what, because it was on the AstroTurf area uh, and, and it was a bit Clearer to see, yeah. Because the, the jumper, the turf but, and the... yeah, the jumper. So Tim, Tom Stewart pulls his the jumper up over Charlie Cameron's head a bit, which, but the action was almost like grabbing a bloke around the scruff of the neck yeah. and thrusting their head into the ground. The action was mm. almost identical. Nothing to see here, Tom Stewart. Now I'm not I'm not advocating for Stewart to get weeks. Well, I guess I probably am. But where's the consistency? If it's the action and yeah, not and then keys the outcome. Keys wasn't hurt. But it, it was a clearer look at almost an identical action. I just, if there is a frustration, it's at a time mm-hmm. like this. Now, I didn't see any explanation from, from Chris O or the MRO this week about we looked at Stuart and deemed that it wasn't because of this. I may have missed that. Mm. It may have happened. I don't think it did, but it may have happened. Can I take it one step further than that? Yes, yes you can. So for all of uh, the analysis and the conversation and the time – we as a football world, in inverted commas, put into an incident like David McKay and the protection of the head yep. and those sort of things, whether it's three weeks and all of that sort of stuff. Yep. yep. The football incidents and non-football incidents, yep. we need to clear this up. This becomes simpler if, if you do this. Yeah, if, go on. If, if, if today we said any punch, any deliberate punch, whether it's in the stomach, whether it's in the head, any punch, four weeks. Month. Starting Punch, point. Punch, month. What if, what if the starting point was two weeks? Or, or, month. Month, righto. It's not about well, how okay, the players righto. that are playing right now deal with it. What's the game we get in three years, yeah. four years? Oh, it's, what's the game you get in a month? It's, it's a, it, you, you can eradicate it. It's a thought. I'm going to now, nah, four weeks, bang, gone. You punch him even if it doesn't hurt him. Nah, gone, four weeks. Any kind of deliberate punch, we think you've you've made the decision to punch. For the non football act, where does Zach Williams fit? Uh, I'm happy. So again, I would add any deliberate head trauma month that is not football related. Yep. So it's not in a balls bounce between yeah, yeah, us, yep, and we're about to flinch and sure. spoil the ball, and you've got him a bit high. Yep. Okay, well we can. No, no, this is a this is a wrestle. This is I'm going to go and remonstrate. Bloke's down already, so I'm going to jump on the top of him. So, Anything in the head, a month. So the month is, you've thought about this, a month is where you want to be on this. Well, it's, it's just oh, no, not neat. To- no, it is. Yeah, yeah good. That's Great. On it. Great. Yeah. Good. I wonder what people think about that. It's starting point for any non-football violence, punch focusing on anywhere on the body. Any punch any anywhere. Any punch anywhere. What are your thoughts are on that? Uh, some temper texts on... Um, your four-week, yeah. your mandatory yes. four-week ban for... In- I want to take some. Punch. I want to take some calls on this. one three hundred seven three six seven three six. This is radical, but with great merit, I reckon, okay. for people who are sick and tired of cheap shot punches. So uh, Ryan says, a week for every letter in the word head. Love it. Uh, what about defenders late spoil to the back of the head? Well, that's different. Um... I reckon, it, if, I reckon if it's in as in how late, we know oh, the yeah. difference between yeah. in the spoil Make and it, yeah, yeah, absolutely, we yep. do. We all know. Yep, we know. We do know. People who watch footy, but you know the difference. Yes, uh, you've lost it, Bob. Says catfish. Why Fair catfish? Enough. Why? Peter says the media was all over the stomach punch a couple of years ago. Players were starting to get suspended. Then the media changed its mind and decided it was too harsh. The media. Make, make up your mind. Well, Peter, I'm just. Telling him what I think. The media. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Yeah, so anyway. Uh, Shane says, I think a mandatory two weeks for any non-football act and then more weeks due to impact thoughts. Yeah. M- maybe, but f- yeah. four weeks is a, it's a, 
bold. I hear you. Every player knows that. Yep, I'm hearing you. I'm a bit more Dave than okay. I am Roberto, but I, but I'm three. I'm supportive. <laughs> I'm support- I get you up to three. I'm support. I've had the no dickhead policy oh, in. My- I've been saying it for ten years. I-, I appreciate that it's fruity, but it does your head in mm. that people still do stupid things on footy grounds, and we go, "Oh, he's a bit clumsy," or "That's a bit." Oh, he's just in. Oh, he didn't mean it. Or no, no, yeah. he did, and he's not, and he should be rubbed out for it, and he mm. won't do it again. If he does, then he gets two weeks next uh, time. But Ron, uh, Ronnie, two weeks, <laughs> two weeks. <laughs> Ron says, Bob, you have too much time on your hands. So sick of everyone trying to make this game bloody soccer, cross basketball. Oh, Enough in- of this crap. Football played by men should be played like men. Oh, that, his, no, that's someone just wanting. What's his name? Ron. That's just Ron taking the you know what. He's just trying to wind us up with mm. that. Because punching people from behind in the head is manly. Mm. Come on, Silly. Ron. Silly. Come on, Ron. It's worse than silly. If Ron's fair to him and he's not winding us up, we've got no hope. Do you think we could eradicate the punch? Not just in footy. We've got no hope in life mm, yeah. if people like Ron are fair to And Catfish thinks we've lost it. Well, I want to know what Cat, why Catfish thinks yeah. that. That Ron thinks that it's manly to punch people in the head on a, in when you're playing a game of footy. He thinks that's manly. Mm, come on, Ron. Come on, Ron. Come on, mate. Ron. I want to have a big tough dog, Ron. Come on, Ron. <laughs> one 736 736 Bob's view, if you just have just joined us, was that any punch, any deliberate punch to any part of the body, automatic four weeks. Automatic yeah. four weeks. Now, you can argue the merits of the four V, one, two, three, or four, right? So that, but what about the notion of a mandatory report? Mm. And then you can then you can add weight to it for the severity of the punch if you want if you want it but yeah. once you strike someone deliberately into any part of their body with a deliberate punch mm. that is a non football act non-football remember that act. So non football act it's not a football contest or correct it's not happening in that moment no, no. it's separate from that yep we 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 are we're smart yep. enough to know the difference between yep. the two we are back ourselves in here folks we can yep. do this a deliberate non-football related punch on the football, automatic. Or head trauma. So what Zach Williams does, that would qualify for me. Yep, okay, right. Deliberate, Deliberate. It's not part of the play. Correct. It wasn't a, a nah. two blokes getting it wrong as they both attack the nah. footy. It's not David McKay. No, no, no. The game it's didn't different. put you in that situation. Okay. Yep, you did yep, it. You chose. Yep, you yep. chose. The other bloke was completely defenceless. Yep. You, you knew what you were doing. Yep. Yep. It went exactly how you wanted. Yep. Same as, it's the same as a punch to the head. I'm I'm all in Maybe on even worse. I'm all in on the on the on the fundamental philosophy. I'll ha- I'm up, happy to be moved on two v four. Yeah. On 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 that, but I'm I'm with you. Four's 100. got more sizzle. Four's got a lot You'd of have sizzle. To concede that four's terrifying. <laughs> Four is terrifying. See, I'm not. If you make it two, I'm not sure if that just wipes it. out I think of the it game. does. I, surely it does. Two weeks is a big impost for whacking a bloke in the guts. Sizzle. My <laughs> Dave's in St Kilda. There's a heap of people who have jumped on the line. I want to have a chat about this. What do you reckon, Dave? I don't mind it. I also think the other alternative is to, instead of having the $1,500 fine, which is pocket change to to the elite, change the fine system to 5% of the salary. Don't divulge that Bob's fine might be 50000 as against the first-year player is going to get $1,500, but just straight 5% of the salary and that way you'd um, hit the players where it hurts and provide an incentive. We, we, it, you, we, used to yeah. div, we used to divvy up the wrestling fine, so just forget about that. When you say divvy, across the whole group? Yeah. So four blokes, like the Carlton Adelaide blokes, yep. that's shared by the entire player. Well, that's even how if we used to do it. Every player in on that? Never had one player who was a bit reluctant to participate? <laughs> oh, no, of course they were. <laughs> right. Of course they were reluctant. Name, no. not, not yet. Can I have a guess? Not yet. We'll see which one texts first. Okay. <laughs> right. Uh, either hurt. Take the game away from them or hit them seriously financially. Either of those things hurt mm. the player. I agree 100%. A thousand bucks. A thousand bucks now. That's nothing for the half of these blokes. Andy's in Armstrong Creek. What do you think of uh, the Murphy the Murphy edict here, Andy? Yeah, I reckon four weeks might be a touch strong, but I, I agree that it, there's got to be mandatory, a mandatory thing against the players. So if it was me, two weeks, bang, straight off. Too bad, so sad. Two weeks, twenty thousand bucks, and then hit the club. Take twenty thousand bucks off the club's salary cap. 
So I'm getting really fair to him. Well. Really I, I know the him. four weeks is bold, but it's easy uh, to stop he, doing it. Yeah, so I'm start, I know you're not wobbling. Stand your ground. I, I'm a bit with Andy. I think two weeks is still going to have the same effect and not be quite as um, – ex- um, what's the right word? Melon. Sizzly. <laughs> There's a word. It's not cooked. Yeah, I think four is a bit extreme. Charred. I think it's a bit extreme. Four. But two, I, I like it. I like where you're coming from. I'm, I'm very supportive of the of the policy. Marty's in Diamond Creek. Uh, what do you got for us, Marty? Well, I haven't rung in about the punch, but uh, back in my day, Parkside would never have fielded a team no, if no, they were getting four no. weeks. Oh, yeah, no, they were tough to play footy against. Oh, That's my tough. word, they were. Tough oh, yeah. now, Can it? I nominate a new moon? Not a good please? tough. Yes, please, Marty. Can I nominate a suckerman? A suckerman. Yeah, that's the bloke on the opposition team that annoys the hell out of your players and you can see your players getting oh, riled up right to the point they're going to punch him right out, right out. and you're yelling at him. But the bloke that's doing all the annoying, you really have a soft spot for? Yeah, right. I don't mind it. The sucker. We've got a jibman mm, coming up later on today. Chinaman. Okay, right. I, <laughs> well, your mob's had a few over the journey. Oh, I wasn't. Gee, oh, Jose Eamon. Oh, Dimmerman. <laughs> oh, Liberman. You prickle. Oh, well, up, okay. Man. You go straight to poor old Tony Franchina. <laughs> your club's had a cavalcade of them. <laughs> I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all, Marty. We'll put that on the uh, back burner and go with it one of these days. Right, let's get to the news. Kaz, Mick, Bobcat, uh, we'll get to all of your calls after this. Murphy, 300-game player, All-Australian captain, captain of his footy club, super um, high character of the game, says four weeks for automatic non-football act. Punch, thrusting opponent's head into the ground. Yeah. Automatic four weeks. Your thoughts, I wonder. Kaz is in Essendon. one three hundred seven three six seven three six. if you've got a view on this. Um, welcome to the show, Kaz. Hi, guys. How are you? Good, thank you. Good, thank you. Good. Um... I, did, I missed, I've just turned it on, I missed the guy talking about, does he mean punching in the back of the head when the defender goes? Was that what he was saying was manly? Uh, yeah, he said, I think, I think uh, okay. Reg or whatever his name right. was, he was no, Ron. Yeah, Ron's... Ron was saying yeah, punch, no, punches are manly. Any punching is manly, yeah. No, Ron needs to have a long, hard look at himself. Yeah. Um, I had a friend who used to play football a long time ago when it wasn't as, uh, that sort of stuff being taken out. He ended up, breaking his back because of some defender continually punching him in the back of the head. So I really don't call that manly at all. And um, to another, I just want to make a... I was at the footy on Saturday night. I'm a Melbourne supporter, go Dees. Yep. And um, to the, the very manly man who verbally abused me as I was walking to my car, swearing at me for some... telling me my club was no good. Um, they, we, got, they, we got cheated by the umpires, they said, and blah, blah, blah and swearing while we had a young girl with him, all I want to say is, mate, sensational. Absolutely what? sensational. Kaz, did you – how did it start? Is there a – were you – was there a – was it completely okay, unprovoked okay. with this? Not that there's any – not that there's any excuse for the behaviour, by the way, but I'm just wondering whether uh, – Oh, these guys were talking and, yeah, and mouthing off and said something and I, about the – said, oh, you, you got the umpires. And, and I said, well, that's your opinion, mate. Um, anyway, I kept walking to my car because I had to park outside the ground. Yeah. So it mightn't have happened if I was inside the ground. Anyway, next minute, I just walked to the car and he just he just goes, you! And just went off and he swore effing this and effing that. And I, turned, I just said, mate, is that your daughter? Because really, that's really embarrassing. Mm-hmm. Now, for me, I'm, I'm a pretty strong person, but he was like, had a look on his face like he would have come up and punched me in the face and we talk about respect for women and um yeah it was really i was really it was really disappointing to uh, be so, sorry to hear that you had yeah. to go through that That's and horrible. it's no good so um you'd you'd like to think that people could self kind of moderate but not everybody can i'm afraid an idiot well Don't it's an aggressive idiot it just seems it seems it seems pretty straightforward doesn't it yeah. uh mixing clyde north uh before we get to the break josh fraser to join us after this fire away mickey how you going, guys? Come on. Uh, for all these politically correct sanitizers of the game, I wish you would all put your head in the sand. Really, truly. I am so over the mothers who, who constantly want to change our game so that we can call it soccer instead of football. We're not allowed to touch each other. If we hear anyone accidentally 
it's three weeks off. Well, we're just come on, we're guys. Just, we're just talking about Why? punching, Mick. When Mick was Gil- when's punching ever been a part of the game? Well, punching's been in the game since day no, dot, no, mate. It's been outlawed just, in the game since no, day dot. Wait, yeah, but wait a second. So some bloke can come along, give you an elbow in the, in the jaw as he's running past, and you're supposed to cop that throat, let him take three the, weeks. The, the, bloke who does the, elbow, the bloke who lays the elbow cops four weeks, mate. It's a non-football yeah. um, act. If a bloke does that, he cops four weeks. Right? So you're okay with the bloke punching the bloke, but so, so the, the bloke with the elbow, he cops the four weeks. Yeah, but the other guy who's, co- who's getting hit in the jaw... He'll turn around don't and then throw it. three don't, or four. Don't do it, Mick. Don't do it, mate. Be better. That's human nature. But don't do it. We're playing a game of footy, mate. Like, don't do it. That's we. And if you do, cop your four weeks. I mean, if you feel like you need to stand up for yourself and that's Mick, what you have to do, yeah. Mick, cop your four weeks, mate. The better. argument I would make also, Mick, is if you make it four weeks, someone sent in a text before that four weeks is the reason Bob's lost it. That is a ma- that's massive for a little rib tickler. My my point is if you make it four weeks for the little rib tickler, don't. you you won't get the elbow to the jaw and you won't get guys missing weeks and weeks what? with broken Why do you cheekbones have to, but and for the bloke who goes a little rib so tickler. So you won't have to you, you won't have retaliation from a punch because no one will be punching to start with. Don't do the little rib tickler. You're not a hero for doing that. Doesn't make you tough. It's weak as don't do it. It's stupid. It's you. You are a moron for doing it. It's not tough. It's a terrible part of the game. Stop it, Mick. You can be tough without punching blokes, mate. This notion that that's what toughness and hardness is in footy in 2021, and it's just I can't believe that we haven't moved past this. But maybe it's a battle we got to keep having, and maybe some people will never view it. I wonder what Josh Fraser thinks. He's joining us next. 